So is there a real reason that they don't come to school? Or is it they just can't be bothered? This short video looks at some of the challenges and barriers care experienced children and young people might face attending or getting the most out of school. We want to help you see the care community in a different light and help you see ways to be a part of the change we need. When you leave your house in the morning, what are you thinking? I wonder if that package will arrive. Oh, I need to remember and put the washing on. What am I going to have for my tea tonight as well? Oh, is there a meeting today? Will I even be able to come back home tonight? What if they don't even turn up? Will my dad be okay? Oh my goodness, will my brother be okay? Will there even be food when I get home? What if they're not sober? We are taught fail to prepare, prepare to fail, but we don't all have control over these things. So school expectations can cause stress, anxiety, and it all starts here. Going to school feels like being taken from one prison to another, places where my actions and emotions are dictated by teachers and others. For some of us, this is a great place. A place where we can spend time with friends, away from our homes and cares. A place where we can be us and treated the same as others. Often certain things about us can draw unwanted attention. The sight of this building to some of us can make us feel like we want to run away, get defensive, or try to disappear into the walls. You're late again! And where's your school uniform? Don't suppose you've got your lunch card either. It's always the same ones. Yes, it's me again, and yes, I don't have those things, and yes, I don't care because I really can't be bothered trying to fix that. I've got bigger things to worry about. Rather than speaking to me, speak to the people who help me, my family, my parents, my carers, or my social worker. I can see your eyes pitying me with the thought of having to deal with me again. You're annoyed? Me too. How about you smile and make me feel welcome and safe? Tell me not to worry that I'll get food today or that my being here was a success and that matters more than a tie or that I was 10 minutes late. And later, when my meeting comes up, phone my class or take the stairs to come find me. Don't shout my name across the school or on your tannoy. Don't draw attention to me and what makes me different. You know my story, it's in your file. Show me my, that my privacy matters. I'm the head of house. I last saw her a month ago. I'm the school nurse. She's constantly phoning me home. I'm the social worker. I've never met her. I'm the educational psychologist. What's that again? I'm the social worker's manager. Am I really that bad? These are all looking at me. These are judging my life. And then people start to relive my history, talk about my life at home, at school, my personal life, my relationships with all these people. Did my teacher need to know that I had a sexual relationship? How do I move on and create a new image when my past is dragged out? Here we go, eyes on me. What are you wearing? Take it off. Can't see. Where are your glasses? What do you mean? Mum couldn't afford the bus to go to the opticians? Not good enough. Right, okay, so where's your homework? What were you working on last? Where is your book? It's always the same ones. How do I say I have no homework? I have no support and I didn't get to go home. I have no space and my head is so full of worries and stress that there's no room to think. But I'm here now, being present and involved, even if it's just for today. The next time I might not be able to be in the place to sit here and talk. I didn't tell you what is going on at home because I don't think you can handle it. And you may not feel the same way about me. I don't want the school, the whole school, knowing my business. It is hard enough moving from family to family and moving schools to totally new places and all the things that brings. I'm always new and I always feel different. But I know that you need to know so that you can support me, but that should mean respecting my privacy and not speaking about me privately in front of others. What actions can trigger our trauma? What can you avoid? Raised voices, shouting, pointing that finger, stepping closer in to make your point, having me feel your breath or worst, your spit, door shutting, making us feel cornered, being called useless, not good enough. I'll just not come to school then, or your stupid class. Why should I go to a room where I feel isolated and stupid? I'm not come to this class. I can feel threatened and respond with matched or heightened aggression. Throwing things, hitting out and hurting myself because that's how I've learned to express myself or get the support I need. I'll answer you back, keep answering you back because all the times in my life I have had so little control over what happens to me, I feel in the need not to back down. You talk about showing respect and I find giving it when it hasn't been earned hard. I have so many adults who meant to be here 
for me and care for me and they leave. Don't show up and just let me down. Sometimes I'll just stay quiet and hope that you'll just give up and accept, accept that there will be no change in my situation. I've heard it said that five at three will be a miracle for me. But sometimes I know that after I've lost it, when the tempers have cooled down, I'll get some time with an adult one-to-one. -one. Maybe some food, maybe a hug. So stop, before you react, before you challenge. Think about the limited options this young person has to respond when challenged. Think about what battles to fight when the war is already won if they are in your room. Just to be clear, we are not saying that being care experienced makes us perfect or that we will never make wrong choices, but we know that making a connection before correction helps us feel safe and be able to take in what's being said is the better way to work with people, especially if they have faced trauma and that is one thing that every care experienced person has in common. We live with our trauma. For some of us, it dictates our feelings more than you know. Be my advocate. State your information if relevant and current. Agree your actions. Include me in this too and leave. See us as individuals and how we feel about ourselves. And our abilities is more important than any national qualifications. That could be our legacy that all children and young people leaving school know that they can learn and that they will when the time is right and that you believe we can. If we feel good about learning, we will learn. If we feel good about learning, we will learn. If we feel good about learning, we will learn. If we feel good about learning, we will learn. If we feel good about learning, we will learn. If we feel good about learning, we will learn. If we feel good about learning, we will learn. If we feel good about learning, we will learn. <laughs> this film was written and performed by young people with experiences of care. It's written to tell you what needs to change. The young people didn't think you needed to know about what you do well, as they don't want you to change that. Including the time you take to get to know them. The kindness shown when they are hurting, the pride you show when they achieve or overcome, and the commitment to those relationships without giving up. Please see and use this film to make changes so that every single child feels good about learning.